Money in Costa Rica. You're trying to figure out what it's all about. What's each bill worth versus your own currency? Well, that's just what we're going to talk about in this episode of Costa Rica Story. Welcome to the third annual money edition of Costa Rica Story. And I can tell you that in the last 12 months, as far as a person who has U.S. dollars, it really has changed as far as what your buying power here is in Costa Rica. So, so we're definitely due for an update. And the usual disclaimers apply here. I'm not a financial expert. I use a, an online currency converter, and I'll link that down below to get the, the exchange rates. And the exchange rates vary day to day, of course, and they also vary from place to place. So, you know, one store you, you go to in Costa Rica may be different than another store. A lot of times, you know, people have to uh, make the conversions with a calculator. So if, if you're at a, like a small shop and you see somebody using a calculator to make your conversion, chances are you're not going to be getting a great rate. So keep that in mind. So the first thing you'll probably notice about the Costa Rican currency is that it's, it's very beautiful. And on one side they have characters from Costa Rican history, and on the other side they've got some beautiful, beautiful illustrations of animals. So one thing you may or may not notice about the Costa Rican currency is that the bills are longer with a larger denomination, which is just another easy way to help distinguish the bills from each other. And the Costa Rican bills themselves have gone through a little bit of a change over the last few years. They used to have a paper currency that was horrible because if it got wet, it would run. But now all the bills are plastic, a plastic substance. So in this video, we're going to talk about each bill and what it's worth versus three different currencies. We'll talk about the U.S. dollar, the euro, and the Canadian dollar. All right, so let's dig right in here. We're going to start off with the one mil bill, which features the white-tailed deer on the front. And in 2023, June of 2023, this is worth $1.85 USD. 1.73 euros and two dollars and 48 cents Canadian. So just a reference point to show how much the value has fluctuated with uh, the colony here. Back in June of 2022, this was worth one dollar and 52 cents versus today when it's worth a dollar 85. So next up we've got the two mil bill. And the two mil bill features a bull shark on the front. So two mil is worth $3.70 US, 3.46 Euro, and $4.96 Canadian. And next we have the five mil bill, 5,000 colonies. And the five mil bill is worth $9.26 US, 8.66 Euros, and $12.42 Canadian. Now in 2022, a five mil bill was $7.60 US, and now it's $9.26 US. So that shows you a little bit of the fluctuation in the market value of these bills versus each other. Next up, we have the 10 mil bill, or 10,000 colonies, which features on the front a very cute sloth. And 10 mil is worth $18.51 US, 17.32 euros, and $24.84 Canadian. So the last bill we're going to look at today is the 20 mil bill, or 20,000 colonies. And that features on the front a hummingbird. And 20 mil is worth $37.03 US, 34.64 euros, and $49.69 in Canadian. And there also used to be a 50 mil bill, which I never have seen in person. I've seen photos of, and I think that was probably the most beautiful bill because it, it featured a blue morph butterfly on the front. But a 50 mil bill today would be worth $92.58 US, 86.62 euros, 
and $124.23 Canadian. All right, so we've looked at the bills here. So now let's take a quick look at the Costa Rican coins. We're going to start off with the biggest, which is the 500 colony coin. And 500 colonies is worth 92 cents USD, so it's almost a buck. So if you get a 500 uh, colony coin and you're from the US, it's almost a buck here. And this is worth 0.87 euros, and it's worth $1.24 Canadian money. And next up is the 100 colony coin, and that's worth 18 cents US, 17 cents Euro, and this is a full quarter in uh, Canadian, so this is 25 cents Canadian. So next up we have the 50 colony coin, which is worth 9 cents US, 0 0.08 Euros, and 12 cents Canadian. And here we have the 25 colony coin, and that's worth 5 cents US, 0 0.04 Euro, and it's worth a whopping 6 cents Canadian. And that brings us to the 10 colony coin, which is, it's worth 2 cents US, and about 0 0.02 uh, Euros, and about 0 0.02 Canadian because it's just the value is just so low. This is the 10 colony and this is this is the 5 colony. I won't even calculate the value because it's 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 less than a cent US. And one thing I should point out is that with the exception of the 5 colony coin and the 10 colony coin which are silver in color and pretty much not worth very much. The bronze colored coins can be tricky because, for example, you, between the, the the size difference between the 500 and the 100 coin is very small, so it's very easy to to confuse these coins. So make sure you you flip it over and you look at the denomination of the coin before you spend it. And to confuse things even further, the uh, the Costa Rican mint put out a special anniversary edition. 500 colony coin, which is way smaller than the regular uh, 500 colony coin, but I, it's, it's, it's a commemorative thing. I don't think it's really meant to be in circulation, but it, it, it is in circulation. You can, you can spend it. So, so there's that to confuse it, but it, it's, it's kind of a pretty coin. It's got a silver in the middle and it's, you know, bronze on the outside and it's got a little unique design on it, but it's, it's nowhere near the size of a you know, both of these are 500 colony coins. You're not going to see a lot of these. Every time I see one, I keep it because it's, it, it, they're kind of a collector's item. But it's, it's, it's closer to the, to the 100 colony coin. It's not exactly the same, but it's, it's actually a little bit smaller than the 100 colony. So it's a pretty cool little coin. So the question always comes up, what's the best way to exchange your money? And I can only tell you what I do. I have a, a Charles Schwab debit card. It has no ATM fees. It has no uh, international transaction fees. And I use that here at the BCR bank. And I, I get colonies that way. I also use a credit card that doesn't charge international fees sometimes, which is it's more convenient sometimes to use a credit card. But then again, when you, you do use the credit card, you're never exactly sure what rate you're getting. So normally from the ATM, you'll get 20 mil bills or 10 mil bills. And what you can do is you go to the supermarket and you can break the larger bills there. So if you're going to some place like a farmer's market or a small vendor somewhere, you'll have the smaller bills because the supermarkets have the capacity to make change much easier than, than a small business. Let me take this quick opportunity to point out that Costa Rica Story is also a travel and relocation service. And there's more information on that down below in the description. 10,000 colonies is worth $18.51 US, $17. What a pain in the fucking ass. And the, the conversion rate can vary, but the, there is the convenience of the credit card, so that's good. Between the 500 and the 100. So this is my currency. 
other currencies. Yeah. So you need some clarification about Costa Rican money. What's each bill worth? What's the best way to convert your money to get Costa Rican money? Well, that's just what we're going to talk about in this episode of Costa Rica Story. Well, that's all I've got for this special money edition of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, share this video and this channel with a friend. Hasta luego. Thank mm -hmm. you.